<clears throat> okay, here to talk about the uh, long wire ESC problem that everybody talks about on the internet and why you need to add extra capacitors to your, um, on the, I guess you could say the inlet side of your ESCs um, because of inductance. Okay, so when I was specking out this multi-rotor, I was uh, buying everything and it said, oh, you may want to buy these um, <clears throat> ES, these uh, extra capacitor packs for your ESCs because of long wire ESCs have a problem from inductance. So I started looking in, there was a link and there is literally a 67 page thread on RC forums, actually RC groups, um, talking about this problem. It's just, it's, it goes on and on and on. There's a, some really smart people have commented and I'm gonna try to explain the problem of why they say you should do this and a couple solutions. Um, first of all, the problem is that over time your ESC will become destroyed and fail if you have really long wires coming from your battery to your ESC. And the reason why is the, the by the nature of the way these ESC works, the FETs or the field effect transistors, they kind of make a simulated AC voltage or an AC current going to your motor where it's um, a three-phase AC current. Well. And what that's causing in, in the, the leads or the power supply to the ESCs, that's causing a switching on and off of the current um, thousands of times per second. And that is, uh, will just that, that drumming of that voltage on and off will, will wreck the FETs of your ESC. So what the manufacturer's done, and every ESC has it, there's a big old fat capacitor right on the inlet side. Sometimes there's two of them. And those capacitors will help um, support that voltage or smooth it out so it's not a, uh, a voltage spiking hitting your, uh, your FETs on your ESC and uh, eventually causing it to fail. Some people think that or say that the longer your wire is, the more prone you are to having an ESC failure due to inductance. The longer the wire from your battery to your ESC, the, the higher the inductance. The higher the inductance, and what they claim is that this capacitor here on the inlet of the ESC isn't enough and it could fail, and thereby causing your ESC to fail. So they want you to add extra capacitors. The, um, let's see here, there's a great thread on RC groups. We'll go to inductance in Wikipedia here. Um, in electromagnetism and electronics, inductance is the property of an electrical conductor by which a change in current flowing through it induces electromotive force in both the conductor itself and nearby conductors by mutual inductance. It's not really so important to know what inductance is, but it's just that inductance is, is, is the uh, effect that's causing this. The longer the wire, the higher the inductance is causing the problem. Um, what that is, is the higher the inductance when, when the current's flowing and then it stops, you actually get a peak in voltage and that voltage could actually be higher than the battery system voltage itself. And it's that constant ripple effect of that voltage drumming and um, on and off and, and slamming into these capacitors that some people think, well, this capacitor on the ESC will fail and um, you need to add extra capacitors. So. So that's why they say they um, the longer your wire is, the you need to add extra capacitors. There is a rule of thumb for how much longer and how many capacitors and what types of capacitors. I'm not going to get into that. All I'm going to say is that yes, um, you you can add extra. Now, some really smart people have commented and said you need to add extra capacitors. There's other people that excuse me have came on and said, you know what, I don't believe this is true. Um, the, the, the amount of extra wire here we're talking about is not that great. As long as everything is cool, is built properly, inspected, and, and the electronics are kept cool, you should never have a problem. And I think there's some justification for that too because there are plenty of large multi-rotors out there with long wire. Long wire is going to the ESCs that don't have the capacitor packs and they're not failing um, ESCs, although I, I suppose time would tell. It's not a, uh, it's more of a chronic thing where over time it'll fail. It's not an instantaneous thing. Um, 
One thing to note is if you take, instead of mounting your ESCs on the arms, if you mounted them right here in um, the body of the multi-rotor and therefore you had a, a lot shorter lead going from your battery to your ESC, problem eliminated completely. You don't need extra capacitors. Everybody agrees on that. If you have short wires going to the ESCs, you don't need additional capacitors. Though, though, now, you would increase the motor leads coming from the ESC going to the motor, but that's not an issue. The issue is the, the leads coming from the battery to the ESC and that drumming of that voltage spikes on and off. So the extra capacitors help smooth that out and support that voltage to prevent um, damaging the ESCs. Um, so once again, uh, the, the drumming effect of the switching on and off of the, the uh, power to the ESC can over time cause the ESC to be damaged. There's uh, The manufacturers put a capacitor on the inlet to that ESC to uh, help support that voltage. The, um, there are some people out there that think the longer the wire is, the higher the inductance, the, the more detrimental or um, that voltage spike is uh, magnified, so therefore you need to add extra capacitors. There are others out there that say it's not that big of a deal. If you keep everything cool, for instance, mount your ESCs on top of the arms, maybe strip the uh, heat shrink off them or the, um, stuff like that, you keep your electronics cool, it'll never be an issue. And there, um, everybody agrees that if you mount your ESCs back here to where they have short wires, from the battery to the ESC is not a problem. So you decide, I've gone ahead, it was $5 per um, six pack of ESCs that, that um, per, uh, or excuse me, per capacitors for each ESC, so 35 bucks, I just went ahead and added it. Some people say it's cheap insurance, so. Um, that's my best explanation, thanks.